campaign that, initial, that was initially targeted at security agencies and security installations in the northeastern part of Nigeria. The Nigerian authorities treated the menace with kid gloves until it turned into a monster that has haunted us in the past 10 years with so much aggression. Lives have been lost, properties destroyed, legacies destroyed, and in some instances, generations of families erased. Yes, as stark as the details are, it's the harsh reality that befell us as a people and as a country that we must live with for generations to come. The years of the locusts that almost brought Nigeria to its knees. The Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria is one episode that will make a bestseller at any time because of the quantum of destructions and setbacks that it has brought. It somewhat reminds us of the Civil War era that some of us have refused to let go because of the emotional and psychological impact it had on our collective psyche as a people. If the truth must be told, the Boko Haram insurgency has had psychological, economical, as well as physical impact on the people of Northeast Nigeria the most, more than any other parts of the country. The activity of Boko Haram insurgency also had various implications on women and girls. For instance, the year 2013 marked the time Boko Haram began the use of women and uh, girls, children, as pawns in their nefarious activities by abducting them. The terrorist group on May 15, 2014, stormed Chibo Girls Secondary School, Chibo in Brodo State, and kidnapped without resistance over 200 college girls. In a related account, prior to the Chibo kidnap, the terror group on May 13 carried out a mass assault on a police barrack in Bama, Brodo State, in which they captured 12 Christian women and children. Uh, the, continuous, the, the continuous advancement of the ISWAP around the neighboring countries. They have indeed done well, so they deserve a recommendation on this auspicious occasion of our Independence Day celebrations. The Safe Humanity Advocacy Center also advocates that the various service chiefs are awarded national honors in appreciation of their invaluable contributions to the sustenance of democracy in Nigeria and the enormous work done so far in Northeast Nigeria. Again, Words might not be sufficient to appreciate the service chiefs because Nigerians and as well the international community are appreciative of their effort thus far and that we are once again celebrating our independence anniversary is a testament. We all know, recall the October 1st, this thing uh, years back, you know, and uh, probably by now, uh, and maybe some people thought maybe those issues will reoccur, but uh, thank God we are where we are today. We can't but thank the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for providing that political will needed to confront the Boko Haram terrorists. Nigerians are indeed grateful to the Commander-in-Chief for leading the war against terrorism in Nigeria and ensuring that no Nigerian terrorist, no Nigerian territory is under the control of Boko Haram Islam terrorists in line with the promise made upon assumption in office in 2015. It has been indeed an eventful journey in the fight against terrorism in Nigeria and that our armed forces are in full control of northeastern Nigeria is and will remain a welcome development that all well-meaning Nigerians should be proud of. Yeah. 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 Yeah.